Okay, I got something interesting in the uh, mail today. Um, I was uh, poking around on eBay and I found these boards um, and I thought it'd be I thought it'd be fun to build. Um, it's pretty basic. It, it doesn't do a whole lot, but I, it's a very, very simple architecture and, and I think it's a good learning experience for some. Um, it is a Z80 computer and um, I mostly bought it to support uh, other other YouTubers and other, I don't think he does any YouTube, but but he's definitely in the retro computing uh, uh, kind of realm. And I just want to support another uh, another maker and uh, I'll take a look at his board here. Let's see if I can zoom in any in this. Um, so there's a Z80, there's ROM, there's some RAM, interesting package of RAM, um, a UART. An 8255, of course, uh, and this is where the 8255 comes out, so you could use this as a controller. Um, it has uh, two uh, RS-232 connections, which I don't quite know why there's two of them, but there is. Probably that's just what's supported on their UART chip. Uh, looks like it runs off of 5 volts. And um, this particular design uh, circumvents a lot of the glue logic by just using a GAL. So this is a GAL 22V10. Uh, we've used those before, so that would be easy. Um, reset button, uh, two clocks, a uh, standard clock for the Z80, and then the uh, uh, one point, it's on the, it's on the silk screen here, 1.8432 megahertz for the UART uh, to get the baud rates uh, correct. Um, and that's it. Uh, one interesting thing about the uh, the board is it has surface mount parts on it. Not on this side, but on the back side, all of the uh, bypass capacitors are uh, uh, are surface mount. Uh, so load load that first. Um, so the interesting thing is um, I sell the uh, Zeta boards uh, to my viewers and. Um, uh, this particular, and I just sell a board, Don, um, uh, he uh, includes a bunch of things here. Uh, he, he, he includes a programmed GAL, so you don't have to have a GAL programmer, you don't know have, have to know how to handle all those files and everything. He actually includes one in the, in the, uh, in the purchase, so, uh, so that's pretty cool. He, he includes all of the bypass capacitors, all those uh, surface mount uh, capacitors, he includes those. And he also includes a CD-ROM. I don't know why he includes a CD-ROM. Just point to a website, thank you. Uh, but he does. Uh, he gives you a, a CD-ROM. That's uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of not there. Anyway, um, that's a DVD uh, DVD dash R even. Um, so he, I think he sells this whole thing for fourteen ninety five, something like that. Uh, my gosh, uh, he's not making any money on this deal. So it must be a labor of love. Um, and uh, so. Uh, like I said, it doesn't do much. Um, I think when you get it actually working, it just boots up a monitor program and uh, you can um, peek and poke around, do some memory dumps and things like that. Um, I think there is an Intel hex loader, so if you develop a program, you can load it on here uh, via the via the, uh, the serial port. Um, and I believe uh, there's a version of Tiny Basic that will run on this board. Um, I don't know if you can make it run locally on ROM or you actually have to hex load it every time. I don't know about that yet. Um, but uh, I thought I'd go ahead and build one up. I've got some Z80s. Uh, I don't know what these other parts I've got 8255s, um, Max uh, 232s. Um, I believe you can also use the um, parts that the Zeta board uses, they're pin compatible with the Max 232s. I think I actually have some Max 232s laying around, so I'll just use those, I guess. Um, I guess the, the bypass capacitors that he's um, using are also used on the uh, Max 232. There's uh, a charge pumps to get either plus, and minus, plus 10 and minus 10 voltages on the, uh, on the, on the UART. I don't know if these are really big enough to support all of the Max 232 chips. I think the CPE chips, this is a Max... Uh, oh, it's a Max 3232 CPE, so that's probably one of the more modern parts. The old, the old parts, I think, required a 1 microfarad uh, for the charge pumps. 
Um, and I think the new CMOS parts, I think you can get away with 0.1. Um, these are probably 0.1. Um, yeah, so uh, let's build it up.